Hello, so today I wanted to make a quick video about an exciting upcoming bike, specifically the new Yamaha R9. Uh, so this is an, uh, a highly anticipated bike, uh, not only because it's new and somewhat mysterious, but uh, because it might be that something a little bit different and fresh that the bike, uh, the bike market needs right now, uh, which we'll discuss in just a second. So feel free to grab a snack and a drink unless you're watching this on the toilet, in which case probably don't, but who am I to judge? Um, so yeah, anyway, so the Yamaha R9, this bike has been pretty much all but officially confirmed by Yamaha. Uh, multiple settings of patterns have been shown um, that pretty much shows that the sport bike is in the works. Um, the recent release of the previously elusive Yamaha R7 also adds a wee bit of weight to the predicted reveal as the hype and leaks uh, leaning up to that bike was quite similar to this. The Yamaha R9 is also expected to harbour the recently improved inline crossplane three-cylinder engine, uh, more commonly known as the CP3 of course, uh, which is obviously uh, featured in the popular naked MT-09. The new sports bike is also expected to include some spicy but expected upgrades for the naturally racier machine such as upgraded upside down forks, electronics and a fancy TFT screen. So that's pretty much all the official and rumoured information surrounding the uh, DR9 but why would Yamaha make this bike and why is somebody like me excited for it? One of the reasons for me, I think, is the triple cylinder engine sounds like it could be sort of the, the perfect balance between road and track. As a self-proclaimed crotch rocket enthusiast, it saddens me to see that there just aren't really that many options for the triple cylinder sports bikes out there. I mean, obviously you have the, the older Triumph Daytona and the somewhat newly released Moto2 version that they brought out, which seems to cost an arm and a leg. Uh, and then you've got the sort of more exotic MV Agusta like F3. Uh, and despite how much I love to own either of these beautiful bikes, in my opinion, um, I don't quite have the cash on hand right now, nor the mechanical skills or time to fix and maintain the European character. Apart from that, most of the triple goodness seems to be reserved for the naked bikes like Triumph Street and Speed Triples uh, and their Rocket 3. Uh, and then obviously the M209 from Yamaha. The R9 would of course fill that sort of gap in their own sport bike lineup as well, um, creating a nice stepping stone for somebody who like wants to maybe graduate from the 71 horsepower R7 to the nearly 200 horsepower R1, meaning more confidence and skill obviously when moving up and probably fewer crash compilations on YouTube. As for the looks and design of the bike, it seems to be expected to somewhat look like the R7, but perhaps a little beefier around the sides, maybe a little bit prettier in the face. But then again, I would not put that past Yamaha. <coughs> Sorry. Although there have been some pretty nice concepts thrown around like the ones made by Car Design Concepts on Instagram. Um, by the way, Yamaha, Honda, whoever, just please hire this guy um, if the R9 ends up looking anything like this then I'll be pretty much sold um, but yeah let me know what you think of the sort of potential Yamaha R9 in the comments is it something that you're looking forward to are you cautiously optimistic or do you just dislike the idea entirely let me know Thank you for watching this video, um, trying something a little bit different today. Um, I'm hoping to do something similar with the Honda Hornet uh, that should be coming out relatively soon, I hope. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this style of video. And uh, if you did like this video, please like, comment and consider subscribing. Goodbye.